Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at layout sketches in SOLIDWORKS. So this will be really useful if you create a sketch and you want to import it, scale it and use it to model in SOLIDWORKS. So let's jump in and take a look. So firstly, I must apologize for um, the crude sketching, but this is a sketch that I made earlier. It's basically of a bottle um and the idea is you import these in and use them for the profile of the model and what i'm going to do i'll put a link in the description so you guys can access my um, dodgy sketches and use them sort of follow along in the tutorial and um import them and yeah have a go at creating the model okay so let's have a look at Here's um, the objective of today. So this is one that I created earlier. So it's got the front and side view, and then we've got the sketches that are basically setting out the model um, ready to start. And the next lesson is going to look at surfacing. So this this is basically a setup stage for surfacing. So we're going to go new part. We're going to come on the right plane and go sketch, sketch tools sketch tools sketch picture and lucky for me it's browsed to the right folder but you might have to browse to wherever your folder is um, the height of the bottle is 150 so if we keep the enable scale tool and lock aspect ratio boxes ticked it will um, keep the sort of scale ratio of the image and then what we're going to do we're going to move it over x and go 5.5 and that brings us online and another thing we've got transparency here if we go full image go to 0.5 it just makes the image a bit more transparent it's easy to work with I find if um, you just drop the transparency down a little bit so then we're going to come on the front plane we're going to go sketch tools sketch tools and sketch picture and again we're going to select the front we know it's 150 keep the um neighbor scale tool and lock aspect ratio the same again and then we're going to move it over minus 25.5 on that and we'll adjust the transparency and there we go now one of the uh, one of the slight problems with this is obviously we are not ourselves robots um, my hand sketch as you can see if I go normal to is actually a bit asymmetric so um, you know don't worry uh, you, you've got to kind of take these the sketches with a bit of pinch so obviously they're there to um, give you a good indication of the form of your product but inevitably you've got to sort of make your decision on the lines and stuff so what I'll do here is take one of the sides um, make make a sketch and then we'll mirror it over but we'll probably model um, we'll do half of the body as a model and then we'll mirror it but we'll, we'll look at that later on so there we go we've done that now uh, I'm gonna create uh, so one thing to note so once you've imported your images they are in the feature tree we've got sketch one and sketch two if you want to edit the properties just double click on the sketch picture and you can come in and edit any of the properties that we've looked at on the setup so we're just gonna come here and we're gonna set up a reference plane gonna call it uh, 138 mil up and if we go side on that should be yeah it's about on the sort of intersection there so that's good um, and now we're just going to start creating the sketch like geometry to build the model so we're going to come on there we're going to sketch gonna select an ellipse Make it coincident. Um, 
incident. And then we'll say it's 40, sorry, 41 by 20. That coincident. So it should be. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good on the on the marks. And then we're going to come on the right plane. We're going to sketch. We're going to select spline. And I'm just going to say it now. These in a perfect world, your splines, all your sketches, as I've said previously, want to be fully defined. But because I'm time restricted in these tutorials, I am going to leave the splines under defined. But don't you worry, I will endeavor to go back and make them fully defined when the tutorial finishes. So what we're, what we're doing here, this is kind of what I said earlier about, you know, you you use the sketch to help you get the sort of aesthetics of the of the part but obviously there's some elements you're never going to get 100 percent because my dodgy sketching is going to be my biggest problem So there we go, there's a little bit of a bold there, but it's not too bad. I'm quite relatively happy with that. So that looks quite nice. And then we're coming on the front plane sketch. And as I said, we'll take one side because the um, the sort of design intent is we're gonna we're gonna create half of this bottle with surfaces and then we're gonna mirror uh, mirror it, which is obviously something you can do with um, symmetrical parts. So yeah, there we go. It's it's not too bad. So if we hide the planes and. Uh, we'll keep your sketches. So there we can see um, that that is it for today, guys. Sorry, it's a bit of a sort of slow, um, slow one. But obviously, I felt that this was a good, um, a good sort of tool to add to your belt, as it were. Um, I've used it plenty of times, and it is it is good. Um, it's a good thing to know. And as I said, this is basically setting us up to start surfacing next week. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you've used, um, layout features, if you used, if you've used this in SOLIDWORKS at all, or if you knew about it, um, how, how do you find it? Do you, do you like it? Um, and yeah, or if you haven't used it, um, give it a go. Let me know how you get on. Of course, if you've got any questions, please comment as always, I'll try and, uh, try and help you out. But yeah, if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe. And um, yeah, stay tuned. Next week, we'll start surfacing. All right, guys. Thanks. Bye.